Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew so Essential and I'm here today to share the glorious FAF Ambition range of sewing machines with you. So people often ask us, what is the difference between these three machines? And the great news is, not only are they gorgeous to look at, they're all packed with incredible features too. In the video, I'll take you through my favourite features on the FAF Ambition 610, the FAF Ambition 620 and the FAF Ambition 630. Don't forget as well, all three machines are available to purchase on our website and I've popped a link to our website and each of the machines in the description below. So let's get started now and take a look at these gorgeous sewing machines. Let's start by taking a look at the FAF Ambition 610, a fantastic machine absolutely packed full of features, including 110 stitches, a built-in walking foot or IDT system, and 29 needle positions to name but a few. Let me take you through and show you some of my favourite features on this great machine. And don't forget, you can find this and the other machines I mentioned in the video on our website. I've popped a link to our website and each of the machines in the description below. Another great feature with the FAF Ambition 610 is the huge area under the arm of the sewing machine. So you've got a whopping 200 millimetres to the right of the needle, which is substantially bigger than a lot of sewing machines. And this enables you to work with bigger projects easily, such as quilts or coats, but also it enables you to get to the middle of a project more easily. So if you're doing mending and alterations and you need to get into an awkward part of the project, or perhaps you're working on a quilt and you want to get to the middle to do some decorative stitching, this extra space here makes life so much easier. And I've got a coat here to just demonstrate to you that I'm able to fit that coat under the arm comfortably. And then if I wanted to work somewhere in the middle of the coat, I can just pass the coat under the foot. I've got the option to raise the foot a little bit extra as well to give me some more room there and I can just pass the coat under the foot like so and then for example if I wanted to work on the yoke in the middle and do some decorative stitching I'm in the position to be able to do that thanks to all of this extra space here. The Ambition 610 is incredibly easy to navigate thanks to the LCD screen which measures 71.5 by 34.5 millimetres. It's lovely and bright and well lit and it just makes it really easy to see the options that you've chosen and any other information that the machine's giving you. The simple buttons for selecting from the 110 stitches included with the machine and easy buttons to use for changing needle position, stitch width or stitch length. One of the features I really like on this machine as well is the info button and if I press that button it tells me based on the stitch that I've selected which needle it recommends, which presser foot it recommends, whether I should use a stabiliser or not, whether it recommends the IDT which is the built-in walking foot and which thread tension it recommends for that stitch and the tension is just adjusted with a little dial on the top of the machine here. So that's just for a straight stitch there. If we change that menu you can see for the straight stitch it's suggesting a universal needle, presser foot A, no stabiliser, recommending the IDT and a thread tension of four to five. Now if I change that to a buttonhole you can see it's recommending a universal needle, the buttonhole foot, it is recommending a stabiliser, it isn't recommending the IDT and it's recommending a thread tension of two to four. So it's giving you lots of information about how to set the machine up correctly to sew with the stitch you've chosen. Depending on the fabric you're working with, you may want to maneuver and change some of these things slightly. You may want to adjust the thread tension, for example, but it's giving you the information to get you in the right ballpark for those stitches. And if you're using a more sort of standard fabric, such as a cotton or a stand, more standard woven fabric, these settings are going to be the ones you'll find that will work for you. Um, so it's really intuitive and very, very useful to have this feature on the machine. 
The first feature I want to show you is my absolute favourite and it is the integrated dual feed technology which is effectively a walking foot built into the machine. To engage the walking foot or the dual feed technology as it's known, you just pull this little lever down at the back and clip it onto the back of the sewing machine foot. To disengage it, you just pull it down again and unclip it. A walking foot is incredibly useful for a sewing machine. For anyone who doesn't know, a standard sewing machine will just use the feed dogs on the machine to feed the fabric through. And what that means is in certain circumstances, the fabric won't always feed through evenly and you'll end up stitching in the wrong place or with things not quite working out as you'd hoped. With a walking foot and with this integrated dual feed technology, once it's engaged, it means that the fabric is fed through evenly from the top and the bottom of the machine. And this is incredibly useful for tasks such as stripe matching, sewing with stretch fabrics like jersey or knit, where there is a tendency for the fabric to shift and move and not stitch together in the right place quilting where you work or any project where you're working with multiple layers of fabric this will help to keep all the layers of fabric together it's great for speciality fabrics like velvet and also lightweight and slippery fabrics like crepe de chine and satin where they tend to run away from one another this integrated dual foot technology is absolutely brilliant for getting great results with those fabrics every time the other advantage of having this built-in system is that with other sewing machines you have to buy a separate walking foot which is quite a clumpy piece of equipment um, and you, you are stuck to that one particular foot. You might have a couple of different feet that you can attach at the bottom but generally it's, it's relatively limited. With the FAF IDT system, there are a whole range of feet that you can use whilst your IDT is engaged. So you can do speciality techniques like adding elastic, sewing special fancy edges, top stitching, sewing in a zip, blind hemming, the list goes on and on. And there's a whole range of feet that work with the IDT system. So you can perform fancy techniques safe in the knowledge that the fabric is going to feed through evenly. I just thought it'd be nice to demonstrate the IDT to you. I've got a piece of stretch uh, jersey striped fabric here so we're demonstrating the abilities to stripe match and also to sew with stretch fabrics. And you can see there that the stripe matching has been incredibly successful. Everything's lining up beautifully. And that's thanks to the IDT system working to cause the jersey fabric to move evenly through the foot, but also keeping those stripes in the right position as well. One of the features I use all the time is the facility for needle up down. So this means I can choose when I stop sewing whether I want the needle to finish in the up or down position. And I often use this for times when I need accuracy and precision, such as sewing round a corner. It enables me to pivot really, really easily. So I've pressed the button to select needle down. And then if I just stitch along, When I stop, the needle's in the down position and that means I can turn my fabric and pivot and sew around the corners nice and easily. It's also a great feature for anywhere really where you need precision and accuracy and you might want to stop and just check the position of the fabric. You can lift the foot up, have a look, manoeuvre it a little bit and it just gives you so much more control over your sewing. 
One of my favourite features of this machine is the ability to change the needle position. So there's a whopping 29 needle positions on this machine. And you can see here, I'm moving the needle to the left and then I'm moving it back to the right. And this is so incredibly useful. It's another one of those features that once you've used it, you'll wonder how you lived without it. It's particularly useful for things like sewing zips where you need real precision and accuracy and you want to pinpoint exactly where your stitches go. Things like top stitching and piping as well, or fixing mistakes if you need to get into an awkward position. It's so, so useful. So you can see here, I've moved the needle a few positions to the left so that I can sew this invisible stitch exactly where I want to. It enables me to get nice and close to the teeth and position the stitches exactly where I want them. The start stop button is another fantastic feature which allows you to start and stop sewing without even having to use your foot control. The foot control option is always there but if you are someone who struggles to use a foot control due to physical reasons it's a great way for you to give your foot or ankle a rest and you can start and stop sewing at the simple press of a button. It's also great for when you're doing free motion embroidery because it allows you to focus on the movement of your hands rather than having to try and think about where you're putting your project with your hands and also having to think about using the foot control. It's great for sewing really long seams and it's also really good for using when you're sewing buttonholes. There are so many ways to get creative with the Ambition 610. One of my favourites is the ability to flip stitches from left to right widthways. So let me just demonstrate by stitching out a cute loop the loop quilting stitch. So we've stitched out the design in one direction. We've got a cute little loop the loop design going on here. And then I can simply touch the button on the menu to change the direction of the stitches and create the same design in the opposite direction. So you can see there is a lot of fun to be had with this feature on this machine. You can get very, very creative and make your projects truly unique and customised. The 610 also has a speed slider. So you've got the option to control how quickly the sewing machine sews. You can move it to the top position and sew your stitches very, very quickly. So if you want to do a bit of speed sewing, you've got something, some nice, straight, easy seams that you just want to fly through quickly. You can work at that fastest speed. But equally, if you've got some precision stitching to do, such as stitching in the ditch or inserting a zipper and you want to take it slow and take your time, you can move it to the slowest position and the rate of the stitches will slow right down. You can position it anywhere along the slider and just find the place that suits you. Another great feature of the 610, the FAF 610, is the ability to sew free motion embroidery and it's really simple to do. You just remove the free arm of the machine, which is a useful feature in itself because that allows you to sew in the round more easily. You could slide a sleeve, for example, over the end of the machine and it can make life easier for some of those tasks. Um, but you just remove that free arm and on the back of the machine, we're looking at the back of the machine here, there's just a little dial and you just push that across and that will disengage the feed dogs and allow you to sew in free motion embroidery mode. You can then replace the free arm and use that to sew. And then when you've finished sewing in free motion embroidery mode, you just remove the free arm you re-engage the feed dogs by sliding that across and just turning the hand wheel which will bring the feed dogs back up and allow you to sew in standard sewing mode. 
I should also mention here that with the FAF 610, you don't get the free motion foot included as standard and neither do you with the 620, but that is one of the additional feet that you get included with the FAF 630 as standard. But these feet are available to purchase separately on our site and I'll pop links to those below for you. I just thought it'd be nice to demonstrate free motion embroidery for anyone who doesn't know what it is, seeing as all three machines enable you to do this. As I mentioned, the 630 comes with the free motion embroidery foot, which I've currently got attached to the machine. However, the 610 and 620, that needs to be purchased separately. But essentially, free motion embroidery allows you to draw with thread on your fabric. You can move in all different directions because the feed dogs are down. So instead of the feed dogs feeding the fabric through the machine, you move the fabric as you sew and you choose the direction in which you sew. And the speed at which you sew also decides how long the stitches are. Generally, it's better to go with a faster stitch and then slower hands to draw your design but I'll just give you a quick little demonstration now I'm by no means an expert but this is one of those things that you can really get into um, add so much unique detail really personalize those sewing projects but I thought I'd just show you quickly how it works and then you can imagine the possibilities and what you would like to do with it So you can see there I've stitched out some sporadic designs um, but you know you can imagine you can draw flowers, you could write your name, you could draw a house or anything you wanted to really. The more you practice the more confident you get with it but it just enables you to really go wild and sew exactly what you want to sew. So let's have a look at the presser feet included with the machines. I'm just going to separate these two because they are only included with the 630. But the rest of the feet you see here are included in the FAF Ambition 610, 620 and 630, all of which are available on our website and I've popped linked, links in the description below. So all three machines include a standard presser foot, a fancy stitch foot for the IDT system, so you can use the walking foot with that one, a fancy stitch foot if you're not using the IDT system, a blind hem foot which works with the IDT system, a zipper foot which works with the IDT system and a one-step buttonhole foot. Now in addition to those the Ambition 630 also includes the free motion embroidery foot which allows you to do free motion embroidery and stippling and it also includes the quarter inch quilting foot which can be used with the IDT system so that's brilliant so you can use a quarter inch foot with all those markings for the precision and accuracy you need for quilting but you can also engage the walking foot function that's built into the machine as well and these two feet are only included with the FAF Ambition 630. They are available to purchase separately though, so if you buy the 610 or the 620, you can find these feet to purchase individually on our website below, our website as well, and I'll pop links to those in the description below for you. Now it's time to check out the Ambition 620, which is the next model up in the range. Remember, all of the machines featured in the video today are available on our website and I've popped a link to our website and each of the machines in the description below. But the Ambition 620 comes with all the same great features that you get with the 610. However, it's got a few additional features that I want to showcase to you. Number one, the LCD screen is larger than the 610. So whereas the 610 measures 71 and a half by 34 and a half, the 620 measures 77 by 51. So it's considerably deeper and overall a bigger LCD screen, which you could argue makes it easier to navigate and see the different menus that you're working with. The other thing that comes with the 620 as standard is that it automatically sets the thread tension 
based on the stitch you've chosen. So whereas on the 610 it will indicate to you the suggested thread tension and you set the thread tension using the dial on the machine, on the 620 the thread tension will automatically set based on the stitch that you've selected. So we can see here for that number one straight stitch it will set the tension at 4.4. For number 134, it will set a thread tension of 3.6. And again, just in the same way as you can on the 610, you can go in and use the menus to adjust that thread tension if you decide that actually you want a different thread tension because of the fabric you're working with. You can manipulate that and it will just set that thread tension for the stitch that you're currently working with and then it will reset back to the standard tensions once you've finished but it just means that you don't have to set the tension with the dial the machine will already do it for you and of course you know depending on the fabric you're using you may want to override that that option's there and it's nice and easy to use but it does automatically set that tension in the first place for you giving you and getting you in the right ballpark for the stitch that you're using with the machine Another much loved feature on the Ambition 620 is the thread snip. So I always say this feature is a little bit like a dishwasher. You think you don't need one, but then once you've had a machine with this feature, you won't believe that you ever lived without it. So this just snips the threads at the touch of a button. When you finish sewing, you just press the little scissor button. It will snip the threads and you'll be able to remove your fabric from the machine without having to hook the threads around the thread cutter on the side of the machine. You have got that option. So there is a thread cutter on the side of the machine, but these little scissors are absolutely fantastic trust me you're going to love them another additional feature that comes with the ambition 620 is the ability to get super creative so the 620 comes with 136 stitches whereas the 610 comes with 110 so there's so many beautiful decorative stitches to choose from but there's also two alphabets on this machine as well plus the ability to sequence the stitches and create sequences of up to 60 stitches and or letters. It's a really simple to use as well and you can program these sequences into your machine so that they're saved and you can recall them at any time. So I just use the menu at the bottom to choose the sequencing menu and then I type in the stitch that I would like to put in the sequence first I then type in the next stitch that I would like to include and then I might go for another star. I might decide that actually I want to add something in between the heart and the star. So I can do that by just moving the cursor and adding that in like so. And then I might think actually I don't like the look of that. I'm going to delete that and it really is that straightforward. To save the sequence, you press the heart with the little arrow next to it and to recall the sequence at a later date, you press the little heart and you can stitch these sequences out and just add that really unique twist to your project. So think of all those personalised gifts you can buy online these days. Well, you can create your own with this facility. So let's take a look at the alphabet as well and let's do a combination of the two. Let's start with a star and then let's move across to the alphabet and I'm going to add my name. I'm going to go for an uppercase for the first letter and then I'm going to go for lowercase for the subsequent letters. So you can see here that I've created something really personal and individual. I'm just going to put another star at the end of that and you can see there what a lovely combination and sequence that is and that can be saved and recalled but if I wanted to I could add up to 60 stitches to that sequence so you know quilts, home deck projects, gifts, that sort of thing. Some people also use the decorative stitches on their dressmaking. It's just an opportunity to get very very creative with your sewing. 
Another useful feature with the Ambition 620, particularly when you're doing things like creating sequences, is the fact that not only do you have the option to flip your stitch designs widthways as you do with the 610, you also have the option to change the direction of the stitch lengthways as well. So if I give you an example, we'll just put um, number 47 into the menu and you can see that stitch along the top of the screen there. With the 610 you just have the ability to flip the stitch widthways as it sews but with the 620 you've got the option to change the direction of that stitch so it was previously going that way and now it's going that way. So that's another feature that allows you to really get creative with all the beautiful decorative stitches on this machine. Finally, let's take a look at the top of the range machine, the Quilt Ambition 630. And don't forget, this and the other machines featured in the video are all available on our website. I've popped links to our website and each of the machines in the description below. So this Quilt Ambition 630 comes with all the same great features as the 610 and the 620. However, it's got some more additional features as well. So the first thing I want to show you is that the screen is even bigger. So we thought the 610 and the 620 were big. The 630 measures 95 millimetres by 54. And just to give you a reference point, the 620 was 77 by 51 so you can see it is a much bigger screen again on this machine and partly the reason for that is that you'll notice there aren't any menu buttons around here on the machine and that's because this is actually a touch screen so you don't have to use buttons to navigate your way around the menus you simply touch the screen like you would on your mobile phone or your ipad it's also colour, so it's really easy to spot what, what you need to look at and navigate your way around. And the stitches are grouped together nicely. There's a whopping 201 stitches on this machine, which is another additional feature. And they're grouped together so that it's easy to navigate your way around and choose which of those gorgeous stitches you're going to use on your next project. And again, just to give you a reference reminder, the 610 had 110 stitches, the 620 had 136, the 630, this machine has 201 stitches. The other thing that's included in this machine it are some additional feet. So you get the six feet that are included with the 610 and the 620, but you also get this free motion embroidery foot and you also get a quarter inch quilter's foot as well. So I use my quarter inch foot. You, it's obviously really important for accuracy and precision if you are quilting and you need to sew accurate quarter inch seams. But I also use mine for a really wide range of dressmaking projects as well. Anywhere where I need to sew something small and fiddly or I need a lot of accuracy and precision, I get this foot out all the time. And then the free motion foot will allow you to do free motion embroidery, which you can do on the 610 and 620. However, the foot isn't included in with those models. It is with this model, um, but it will also allow you to do things like darning as well. So I hope you've all enjoyed that today and it's answered lots of your questions about these gorgeous machines. But if you do have any further questions, we are experts in these machines. We know them inside out, we love them and we use them. So do drop us an email. Our email address is on our website and I'll pop it in the description below as well. But we're always happy to have a good old chinwag with you and answer any questions you might have. And do remember, these machines are available to buy on our website. You can find the link to our website and the machines in the description below.